Hi everyone, my name is Susie and I'm a first year maths student at the University of Warwick. We are currently coming to the end of the Christmas holidays, which means unfortunately that the January exams are right around the corner. Obviously by the time you get to university you'll have gone through quite a few different sets of exams, but that doesn't stop exams being a little bit scary every single time they do come around. On top of that, I think maths is quite a difficult subject to revise for in my opinion because it relies on you using information in a very different way to other subjects. You have to be able to look at all these new scenarios, new questions, and apply concepts and methods and stuff in, in a very different way, which makes it very difficult to revise for. So with that in mind, I thought over the past couple of weeks when I've been on holiday, why not show you guys how I've been revising, show you guys kind of a rough idea of my day to day and yeah, hopefully that would either let you guys know what it will be like when you do have, have exams in university or maybe this will be advice that you should follow, who knows? The first thing I did before anything else was I took the time to sit down and make a plan of what I was going to do and when. When, you, when it comes to revising for exams, I think I personally get overwhelmed quite quickly because it feels like there's just so much to do, you need to go over an entire couple of modules all over again and practice for exams or whatever. And there's just so much that if I don't have a clear kind of breakdown of what I'm gonna be doing, I get lost and I get panicked. So it was actually, it was like 10 minutes or something. I sat down and what I worked out was a plan that had three steps, which I've handily named rest, refresh, and apply. Just just nice, just catchy, I thought. Step one is, as the name suggests, rest. You know, I'd come home from my first term at university, on top of it being a new term and a new pace and new information and everything and everything, I'd also been in what, like two lockdowns, one lockdown over the course of my first term, so I thought I deserved the time to just Take a break. If you go straight from university to working to university again, I feel like you're just going to burn out, or at least I was going to burn out very quickly. So I took the time, I stepped back, and I had some time for me, which was very, very nice. Step two, uh, refresh. It was just refreshing myself on the information because you are given so much information in every single one of your modules. Kind of just just trying to go into practice exams straight from that absolutely would not have worked for me because there was a lot of information I had forgotten some of it so by going over the information again that helped me to remember it and a lot of lecturers are going to say to you like there's this difference between active learning and passive learning where when I say refresh I don't necessarily mean you can't just read over the information again because it isn't it isn't going to stick into your head that's why you have to like actively try and do something to learn and remember all of the information that you've been given. So that will be things like making mind maps or making flashcards or trying to like explain the concept to a friend or something. Obviously, every single person has different ways that, that helps them learn. Um, personally, I really like making mind maps. That's just, I like writing out the information. I like being able to kind of structure it in a way which I can easily see everything's happening. And it's just something, that is, is a tool that I found helps me. So that's what I was doing to just go over the information again, make sure it was all in my head. So I'm currently in phase two of my plan for the holidays revision. Today, I'm gonna to be trying to do a couple of mind maps. Um, I finished all the foundations mind maps already, so I'm gonna be doing analysis mind maps. And yeah, I, I guess I'll just get to that. So that is me done for the day. Um, I normally try and do about two mind maps a day, but I could very easily do more or less depending on, you know, if I'm busy that day or if I'm trying to push myself a little bit further. I have found that the foundations normally take more effort for me than the analysis. So that's something to keep in mind that different subjects are gonna take different amounts of time. But yeah, uh, I'm done. I'm gonna go have a break. Step three then was applying it, was making sure, you know, I've got all the knowledge, can I actually use it? And that's doing practice questions, practice exams. I'd done quite a few practice questions as we were going along during the module, so I just went straight to start doing the practice papers. Um, 
There are only so many practice papers available for you, so I'd recommend not getting into these too early. Um, currently, I think there are five X papers or past papers, I mean, um, that I've been doing and they've brought out another mock paper. So I have six papers in general and if I'd done them all, you know, first week of December, I would have then not had anything to do towards the, towards the end. So yeah, make sure you make sure you use what limited resources you have effectively and you can always go back you know you can find various in um various questions in textbooks you can find questions that have just been given to you on certain topics throughout the course there's lots of there's lots of things that you can do out there to practice them but past papers like nothing else are just going to be useful because you're going to see the kind of question that you'll be asked you're going to be able to if you try a question and you realise you can't do it, then that is an immediate, immediate sign you need to go back and revise that a bit more. So you have, to some extent, there is a little bit of a loop between step two and step three that sometimes I would like try a question, realise I didn't understand convergence as much as I thought I did and go back and do some more work on convergence and then come back and do questions on it. But at the end of the day, it's step three, actually applying it so that when it comes to the test, easy easy you've already done all this before so today should be a pretty easy day for me fingers crossed um, I'm gonna go through a past paper do all the questions and then check the mark scheme if there is a mark scheme because sometimes um, the past papers don't have mark schemes in university there's this or from my experience there seems to be this move away from you know you can look at the mark scheme see what the answers are and go okay yeah no that makes sense and they actually expect you to kind of not just learn how to do things from the mark scheme, you need to properly learn it, which I understand, but then also if I have no idea how to do a question, then you know, there's no mark scheme to help me. So depending on what happens, I might also, you know, ask some friends, see if they've done the same paper as I have. And I'm also going to try and go for a walk at some point, I think, because I've been stuck inside for days trying to revise um, and some fresh air will probably do me good. Exams are going to be a scary time no matter how prepared or ill prepared you are, but at the end of the day, when I go into those exams in a couple of days, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to come out with a grade that I'm happy with. But more than that, I'm going to come out of those exams knowing that I've done the best I can, I've revised as best as I can, and whatever whatever happens, happens, you know. It's, it's not the end of the world if I do do badly, but all of this preparation that I've been doing should put me on the path to getting a grade I'm happy with. I hope you all have a good exam period if you are also going through exams and if not I hope this video was in some way useful to you. Thank you very much for watching.